name is Katherine Allen and I am straight but I used to be bisexual. Um, at the point where I thought I was bisexual was probably 8th grade and that was because I had quite a lot of friends who were like a lesbian and bisexual or bi-curious and I didn't know like I, I had a feeling that I could be, but I was never really sure, so I just, um, uh, I just kind of experimented. I decided it was good, better to, like, you know, just go around and, like, date girls or date guys and just see who I preferred, and that was pretty much it. <laughs> um, the way I felt when I, like, realized that I might be, um, that I was bisexual was I was kind of, like, I was kind of, I was at ease with it, like I didn't really mind, but I was also kind of scared because I was scared like how people would take it or how my parents would feel about it, my sister and stuff, so, but honestly, it just, it didn't really bother me, I just moved on with life and nothing else happened. So I knew that I was gay end of sophomore year and it was probably June, it was probably... It was probably January or February towards the end of fresh sophomore year and I knew but I wanted to be completely sure before I came out to friends and family and um, I think the first person I came out to was my cousin and then my sister and then slowly started coming out to family members and everybody was really accepted so it was a really nice and easy family to come <laughs> it was a really nice and accepting family to come out to, and everybody's been super supportive, and I couldn't be more blessed. Um, the way that I told my parents was, um, it was funny, I, I told my mum in the car, um, we were just like driving to the store or something, and um, when we got into the store I saw a girl that I thought was really cute, and um, when we drove back home I was saying to my mum, oh she was really pretty, and she was like, yeah she was, and I was like, yeah, like, you know, really pretty, and I just came out and say it. I said it, I was like, Mum, I, I'm bisexual, and she was like, no you're not, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I kind of am, and I said it kind of like, you know, proud, I was like, yeah, I kind of am, and she was like, this is just a phase, like, it's not going to last, you'll, you'll pass it, and I was like, okay, well, maybe so, but right now, that's the way I am. And I didn't tell my dad because I was really scared because my dad's kind of like um, you know, a tough personality. So um, my mum told him and then um, so I was in like freshman or sophomore year and I was walking with my girlfriend and at the time and we were holding hands and um, some girls at a table started shouting at us um, lesbian oh you're a big fat lesbian and I was I got really angry and I kept walking and my girlfriend she kept telling me no just keep walking so I, but I, I got really angry so I turned around and I flipped them the bird and um, then just kept walking and they started shouting it more so that was probably the wrong thing to do but um, I just I felt so angry like I don't understand like why people have to be so like make fun of people who are different and it's like a life choice and that was my choice and it just really angers me sometimes. LGBTQ stands for lesbian, gay, bisexual slash bicurious, transgender and questioning slash queer. Okay, um, the first time I heard about gays was uh, in my late teens, 17, 18. Uh, nobody had ever told me, I just found out. I started nursing when I was 18 in the late 50s and I learned quite a lot then. Um, in school there's obviously a lot of discrimination again, like from students and stuff but thinking about a teacher discriminating is just kind of baffled me but when it started to happen that's when it seemed like really surreal kind of. I remember there's um, one time, this was around the time that I realised that I was actually straight and I went through my whole um, bi-curious um, 
uh, state and I realised I was straight, but I was in dance class and I was with one of my really good friends, Melissa, and she, her and me were like really, we were kind of close and she would like always, you know, hug me and whatever because that's just the type of person she was. And I think the dance teacher um, heard that I was um, uh, bisexual somehow and every time Melissa would be close to me um, she would get really angry and I'd, I'd be the blame for it and I don't know why it was just it was really weird I think and one of the students heard her saying that me and her were lesbians and she didn't like it and that really kind of annoyed me it was like she really liked me before and then all of a sudden because one of my friends is really close to me and she hears that I'm like a lesbian or something she starts being really rude and it just it's just wrong in my opinion the first time I met a transgender was not very long ago when I was in my 60s and uh, I'd known this person who was somebody's goddaughter and then I met this person again and I thought I know you but I don't know how, where, or when. And of course it turns out that she or he was transgender. And I think I met my first lesbian as a friend or acquaintance, probably in my 40s. It should be in the 70s. So it's become more of a mainstream problem for guys and girls to use the term gay as derogatory. And you'll see it every day when a guy is sweet to his girlfriend and his friends will be like, dude, you're so gay, or they'll see something that, I don't know, they don't like or something, and they'll be like, oh, that's so gay, or you're so gay, or I don't know, but it's become more of an issue, and the actual meaning of gay is either A, homosexual, or B, it means happy, and so they're using it completely wrong. And it's not um, I've realized in the last year and a half that I am in fact straight, and um, I still, even after I found that out, I've still been like an avid supporter in the LGBTQ community, and I feel like because I experimented a little bit, it kind of opened my eyes to what actually happens and I will forever be a supporter. I do remember when I was in my late teens um, hearing a sermon at church or a Bible reading and St Paul has a lot to say about gays and how unnatural it was and that, that really made me think that I was only in my late teens. So as you can see, the LGBTQ uh, community has tons of Facebook pages. So if you're like going through discrimination or whatever, just just know that um, you aren't alone and there's support everywhere. If you're not getting support from your friends or your family, just know there are people out there who care about you. Don't be afraid to be who you are. Make the choices that make you happy, and in the end, that's all that matters.